Hey everyone, I'm Jamie Proviance. I've got an idea. How about nachos on the grill? I say yes, this is a great idea. Who doesn't love nachos? In this case, they're chicken and pepper nachos. Perfect recipe to make when you're inviting friends over to watch the game. Or better yet, if you're at the game and you're throwing a tailgate party, this is really a wow recipe. So, to get started, you're going to need to grill your chicken and your peppers. Now, if you're doing this for a tailgate party, you could actually do this at home and just bring these items to the ballpark. The chicken has actually been marinated in a little bit of uh, olive oil and some chili powder and some oregano, a little bit of cumin, onion powder, good Mexican seasonings. I'm just going to grill that for about uh, 8 to 12 minutes. The peppers I've already grilled. I roasted them over direct heat until they got nice and black all the way around and let them cool and then I peeled off most of that blackened skin and now you've got this gorgeous sweet roasted pepper flavor. And with the chopped peppers and the chopped chicken I'm ready to make my nachos. Obviously we're going to need some tortilla chips for nachos so I've got those spread out on a baking sheet which I've lined with parchment paper. Word to the wise, use the parchment paper because when all this cheese melts onto that pan, it's going to create a huge mess and you want to be able to just scoop it up and throw it away. So speaking of cheese, I've got some nicely grated cheese here and I'm just going to layer these things together. Um, there is enough food here to make two of these sheet pans. So use about half the chicken and about half the peppers and about half the cheese. Just scatter them around and, you know, this is... This is ridiculously simple and can be varied however you like. As I said, the peppers can change, you know, the meat could change. It could be pork, it could be beef, it could be shrimp, whatever sort of nachos you like. Vary the cheese as well. Maybe do one version like this and another version, you know, it's a little bit spicier. I think some uh, chopped up scallions in here would be a nice little touch. And then the cheese. And you know, these are nachos, so be generous. It's a cheesy dish. You want to make sure that every chip has a little bit of cheese on it, at least. Some of them quite a bit of cheese. And then all we're going to do is then put this pan on the grill over indirect heat and let it cook. It takes about five minutes or so with the lid closed for all that cheese to turn into something ooey gooey and fantastic. Let's see what we have. Oh yes. A masterpiece. So simply done. Grill up your favorite meat, your vegetables, layer them with some tortilla chips, some cheese, maybe finish them with a little bit of uh, salsa and some cilantro. You know, it's not the most elegant thing in the world, but you would be hard pressed to find something more gratifying and delicious than warm, cheesy nachos hot off the grill.